all right guys this is a follow-up to the tilling i just wanted to let you know that tilling day didn't go as planned you can see some of this is still standing i ended up blowing out a front left bearing and uh, that was a mistake that was over two years old and it just finally let loose so we had a piece of metal that was in there that we did not see and uh it got into the bearing and just completely destroyed it and it cracked open my axle hub by about six inches so a few hundred dollars roughly around uh 450 dollars later were repaired and i got lucky that i didn't have to spend another 600 for just one more part so here's a few observations and for those of you that plant before you typically do anything this is one of the side effects and downfalls of tilling if you notice here there's still a lot of living material this has been laying here now for eight to nine days and a good portion of it is dead i would say uh 60 ish percentile range uh, a lot of crimson clover uh, pop back up through this and it looks greener than what it actually is but there's a lot of oats and stuff that's still alive and some of it's re-sprouting young shoots so what i intend to do is sow in here next and then run the tiller across it again and that should wipe out hopefully the remaining amount uh, under my old method i used to do this six times uh, but as the material got thicker it required six times I should say and I'm trying to lean that process up so if I feel like I can get this in two passes uh, that's great and it may result in spraying out the rest I don't know I'm trying to prevent that but this is my first experimental attempt at something this thick I shattered all kinds of thickness records this year so the tillers had to work in overdrive just to achieve this. And it is just kind of a messy, messy uh, method in my opinion. But hey, it's, it is what it is. So uh, I've started back up here and I've managed to get three rows starting on four. You can see uh, some of this leftover purple top or red top clover that's left behind. Uh, that's probably gonna get hit again but look at how tall that rye has gotten it has continued to grow in nine more days and it's still growing taller I have shattered records again the average standing height down here is seven feet tall I mean you can see this uh, this literally standing above the tractor and it's actually even though the camera angle is a bit odd here, that is actually up there with the canopy of the tractor. It would touch it. And also, winter peas. As they continue to grow, I figured they would at least hit five. And I guarantee you now they can grow taller than six feet. Because right here is a winter pea, seven feet tall. Shattering all kinds of records. So a forage pea that has gotten seven feet tall so there you go now you can understand how plants react to better soil conditions things grow very rapidly i mean that is a ridiculously tall and thick winter pea and he is still growing so you could expect seven feet maybe but at least six in here is what i've gotten with good soil i've also got uh crimson three feet tall absolutely astounding growth in here now and then the growth kind of tapers a bit as you head this way toward the the hump uh, it, the rye narrows down to about six feet six and a half feet and then the clover here is two and a half feet you can uh, once again i'll point this out you can see the layering super thick for the first two and a half feet then it thins down and you start getting uh, turnips, pea, winter peas, and rye as your 
higher end your brassicas take over as well so there's various layers of material you know some of the wheat and oats grow uh, to various heights depending on which variety you pick so it gets really layered but it's not as thick as this is it is not hurting each other there's enough light getting down to the clover to where it actually supports better clover growth because it's not full baking sun and it really helps stimulate taller growth in, in the lower portion of this plot so that's what i'm i'm up against right now it's just really thick material and today i just want to knock this down tomorrow if it's not pouring the rain with severe storms i'm going to try to seed what i can i have to get something out i'm i'm already behind even though it's not like pushing to the end here i've got plenty of time i just want this in the ground and have enough growth that when the babies show up there's going to be support there for them so there you go i mean it is absolutely fantastic growth just shattering all kinds of records and here's another thing that i'm going to keep an eye on you see this green line from here over this actually stood longer which means the rye is more matured somewhat than it was over here and along with the other plants so if i have a higher success rate in the kill off of these plants that is something i'll keep in the back of my mind and say okay next year we need to wait till maybe may 10th and then come through here and do this so that's something i'll watch this is it's actually bought me some great opportunities here even though it was a downer blowing out a bearing but it is working and we are back in commission so it's time to finish tilling and i won't video the rest of this for now but uh i'll show you the end of it so have a good one all right finally the first complete knockdown is done i mean i still got a little cleanup around some of these camera posts no big deal that can be done on planting day it was just so dang thick down here definitely shattered records again i mean it is insane the biomass this ground is just chugging out here now better than any part of my hayfield could ever dream of being if i had uh, the ability to work on hay and Try to get the most return out of my soil i could probably uh, do really well because i only do small adjustments which has really helped my average as far as bales go but uh, this type of basically it's like regenerative farming in a way i'm destroying creating new life and that new life will flourish better than the previous and that's the whole cycle that this goes through so my dear will grow in stages as the food plot progresses especially if you're all new to this growing bigger deer consistently takes time guys and i'm not talking one year i'm talking beyond one year and if you want to review my when will i see results in my deer video I've got the perfect study from the msu deer lab that will help guide you in how many years it's going to take and it really it would take a decade guys you got to get your future genetics up to snuff and that involves really good food and good food takes time every year a little more a little more and your deer will get a little bit better a little bit better and then suddenly it's just like all these really nice deer are everywhere in here and that's how it works over time just be patient with it and let things work for you just like I'm going to be patient with this, I'm, I'm way behind, but uh, I still have plenty of time for planting. So at least this is now knocked down, and if it doesn't rain tonight, or at least in the tomorrow by 7 o'clock in the evening, this will have plenty of time, hopefully, to get some good heat put on it and uh, start the kill-off process. Some of this may wither tonight or it may not look any different in the morning at all. Just depends. And then I'm going to start planting up here. I mean, you can see it. Nine days difference between this and this now. Nice straight line. All right, guys. I hope this video helps you. 
again this is all one pass tilling i did sneak in a, a second row or a second turn right here because it was so dang thick there i felt that i probably didn't have a really good kill off i mean it was seven feet deep and three feet deep on the on the other blends through there and it was just balling up thick so i gave it one extra pass through so at least now i've got something i can document and i can make modifications from this incident with the tractor where it blew out the bearing and maybe discover something that's better than what i was doing before so take a full advantage of whatever opportunity you're given you never know the outcome. So I hope this video encourages you to stick with it. Don't give up and keep planting those plots. It will happen at some point. Have a good day, guys.